You're so fine. We good? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Say, how's my people doing? Doing all right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another successful episode of 231 Podcast. On this podcast, we bring you live news, entertainment, and gossip, a.k.a. G's. I'm your host, JoJo, a.k.a. Lifestyle Badu. Yeah. You already know, we have here today... Promise from LIV Baddies. Special <laughs> guest. Special yeah. guest. Special guest in the building. Special, special guest in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. Always, she's, not, she's not only LIV Baddies, she also runs a modeling company. Yes, models, I do. So Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Big things. Big things. Big things. Big things. Big things. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I'm your host here, Honey K. You also got here. Yeah, this is your boy, A. Bizzle. Man, y'all already know what time it is. We in this bit. Let's get it. So, how was your weekend, my man? Mm-hmm. Shit, I was my weekend. I ain't doing nothing but a damn thing. I was just about in the crib, chilling. Yeah. Nothing this week. Nothing nah, I just was in the crib, blew it down, was chilling with folks in them, and yeah. I I really ain't get out, bro. I ain't go out and do Why? shit. I did. No, I did go to the mall though. I went to the mall. Yeah, you got some yeah, shit. You got some shit. Yeah, 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 I yeah. took a little picture on TikTok. Y'all follow me on TikTok. Follow my guy <laughs> on TikTok. We're like TikTok out <laughs> here. Look, now. Um, <laughs> before we get into AB weekend and Paige, our host, so her birthday was this past Saturday. Yeah, oh, she yeah. was outside. Birthday girl, you feel me? But before we get into all that, man, we want to introduce our guest. We got a big, big special guest in the building today. Introduce yourself, Mama. Yeah. Hey, y'all! It's the Midwest baddie. It's Promise, also known as Dark Skin Goddess. I'm on the two three one podcast, so what's good? Yeah, 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 yeah. We here, we here, we here. We here. Okay. Okay. Dark skin guys, <laughs> we here, we here. The biggest podcast in the Midwest. Yeah, da, yeah, da, yeah, da. Bigger, bigger. So nice. Yeah. So nice. So, so bitch, man, shout out to you, man. Yeah. Your yeah. birthday yeah. was yeah. big. Shout out to our yeah. man. Give it up, give it up, yeah. Yeah. Our co-host, man. She was outside this weekend. She was outside. So how was your birthday? It was no, my birthday was great. I had a good time. Yeah. Shout out to all my cousins that came out with me. Yeah. Yeah, it was outside. Yeah. We went to Minnesota. We went to DJ Tony Tone party. Yeah, shout out Tony Tone. Lit as fuck. I want to I wanna thank everybody who bought me butter over there. I <laughs> said, Mika, on to Don Julio, on to more Patron. Oh. Thank you all. Lily. I'm, a, I, I'm mad that I didn't spend it with y'all, though. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. But you do you it. remember what happened, though? You remember your night, though, right? You remember? Or... I remember the Casamigos. <laughs> <laughs> Casamigos. That was about it. <laughs> that was not the anything else. All that one, but all yeah. the other ones now. I don't nah. do shit like that. But my weekend was great. Thank y'all for the birthday wishes. Yeah, no. Nah. Another trip around the world. God nah. bless. Some people don't get a reach this ish. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. 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 You get the next month. Oh yeah. You get the old small. Yeah. Not too much. When you get party after nine o'clock, you know you get the old. But yeah. You feel me? But how was your weekend? My weekend was good. Same old, you know. Infinity. No, but outside of that, it was good. I have fun. Happy Happy birthday, bro. Yeah, happy birthday for real. It's my cousin, so I gotta show her love. Oh, nobody don't know that. Why you me? Very old. Almost daddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, daddy. Oh, Chris. She lying, y'all. Nowhere near. Damn, small world. Y'all family? No, we yeah, were like yeah. that. Oh, yeah? Wow. Yeah, small world. Yeah. I would never That's very told. interesting. You know what I never told us? Yeah. Never been able to tell. Why is it everybody to know, yeah. you know? Oh, you want to <laughs> have a relationship <laughs> now? <laughs> 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 got this girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. 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 Man, my weekend was crazy, bro. Oh, yeah. I was over Yeah, I went, oh, man, shout out to Dally Boy. You feel me? The whole after hour crew did. Yeah. That shit was lit. Dally Boy. You feel me? Big up to Dally Boy. You hear me? So that's what I was doing for my birthday weekend. Yeah, it was part. Partying for you. It was partying for you. So, um, yeah, yeah Miss Promise, we just gonna go right into this, man. You feel me? Let's get into you the, it. Yeah, you the uh the Midwest baddie, basically uh Iowa. The biggest. You feel me? Representing Iowa five one five. 
Yeah, you feel me? So, how was your experience? Talk to her about your experience. <sighs> on season one, <laughs> season one. Let me take one. a breath to that, right? <laughs> yeah. Nah, it was a cool season, though. Like, being one of the OGs, definitely, I feel like. I feel like I gained some respect from that. So I really do want to appreciate Love TV. I feel like she put me on a bigger platform. I really, yeah. I feel like Man, I give it up for Love. Yeah. Give it up for Love one time. Give it up for Love one time. Big up, big up the sis, man. You feel me? That's the sis right there. She put it all out on the map. So y'all know it's real. That shit was interesting, though. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely. Shout out to Love and the whole production team. And my baddies too. Shout out to y'all. Okay. Lorena, Maya, Lati, all of them. All the fuck. Lati, all of them. They some baddies. I fuck with y'all. Y'all thank you for real. Samara, that's my girl. Okay. So what was the what was the purpose of the the, uh, the whole show though? Like I ain't really watched it or get into it like that. I was following it on Instagram Mm -hmm. and stuff. Saw a little glimpse of it, but right. Like, is it imitation of like um, love and hip hop or the baddies that they got over here? Yeah, I will say a little bit of both. Um, The only difference is we show more culture. You feel me? The librarian culture, the African culture. Um, You know, we are the less spicy, spicy stuff. So there's a lot of spice in the in the show. Yeah. Yeah. So are you going to be in season two? No, I'm not in season two. It's a whole new cast. Oh, so, it's a whole. Yeah, but I think season three need to bring back some of the season one girls. But why you're not gonna be in season two? I didn't. I didn't just, um, audition or anything. Oh. Yeah. No. So what? People that was already on season one can audition for season yeah, two. Yeah, but none of us different... did, which is crazy. Oh, nobody went. Oh, uh, yeah. so I thought it was a whole new. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, think, I think. I think it's every season is probably it's, new people, right? Yeah. If you audition, you feel me, but. So okay. you didn't you didn't want to audition? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before Paige getting her question right, speaking about audition, like I had audition. how was how was your audition and like what did you do? What 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 stand out? Okay. That really caught love eyes. Okay. So I wanted to say, okay, I think she's the baddies from First of all, I love, 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 love pretty girls. So <laughs> you feel me? So I definitely caught her eyes. But um at the time I was living in Colorado, I was living in a college dorm okay. and I did an audition video. I remember I seen the post and somebody was like, oh, you definitely need to apply. You got the attitude. One of my sister's car. She's like, oh yeah, you need to audition. I saw audition. It was cool. I got selected out of the, however many it was, I was on the 10th. Top ten girls that got selected. Whoa! Out of Iowa, come on now, let's give it up for that. Yeah, yeah, big up, big up, five on five. The boys, what up? Like, you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Yeah. Nah, so no, I definitely felt like coming out of Iowa, especially a small city. It was definitely an impact. But yeah, the audition. I just sent a video in. Um, I emailed Love like, yo, I got the personality that you need. I got the energy. And she felt my vibe and she responded to me real quick because at the time she was looking for 10 girls. It's a random post on Facebook. You feel me? Right. But yeah, it was definitely, you know, God already had that in my path. So I want to so, give Love a shout out again. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. Big shout out to Love too. Congrats again. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Yes. So we had talked about your... Uh, your modeling agency that you done came up with. Yeah, uh, so baby. where do you see Mika Models in about five years? Okay, so Mika Models started about a year ago. Um, I started with about, let's say nine models. Um, being It being the first year of business, everybody knows the first year of business is really tough. Mm-hmm. So I had to learn, I had to go through ups and downs, but now this being on to the second season, I feel like I learned a lot. Right. My brand has grown a lot. Um, I have newer faces, a lot of diversity. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and we have a lot of opportunities that's been given to us because of our previous season. So yeah, shout out to Mika Models. Shout out to Mika Models. Shout out, shout out big up, big up, big up, Model. See your model in our ear. But yeah. not, not to get back to the um to the LRB baddies though. Like mm-hmm. the whole thing on there, everybody when I, with this um little glance I saw on YouTube, mm-hmm. it was being called confession. I don't even know what the hell that was. Confession <laughs> oh, queen, right? Confession queen. Yeah, they're trying like to that. play what with my name. About? I, I what think was going yeah, on? Let's it was talk about gangster. I think it was confession gangster. Thug or something like that. Yeah. They was trying to play with my dad's last name. I didn't like that, but oh, yeah, they was trying to play with my last oh, name. I didn't like that. I was, I feel like I said everything I needed to Wait, say. Wait, how? 
How? Yeah. I feel like I said what I, if you watch the season, did y'all have a chance to watch the season? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So in the season, I stood on business, but I still talk my shit too in the professional room. So it's not like I was trying to be scary or nothing because I addressed it, everything I said, everything I felt, I said it to the person. Okay. So I was trying to play with my name, but yeah, that's just Oh, like, okay. So it was just one person that went and spread a rumor and it was like everybody just hop on the yeah. train. And say, oh, fuck yeah, it, but we did shit. talk some a lot of shit in that confession. <laughs> oh, in the confession room. Huh? <laughs> Is it something that they posted? Is that we gonna watch no, that? No, it's just the oh, shit was we were saying for real. It was everybody like everybody just went in that room, man. So yeah. So the definition of a confession room is something you say that your cast member cannot see until what? The until reunion? it drops, until the season drop, the episode drops. So what what if they see it? And it feels some type of way. Would that's you... no. Go ahead. No. Go ahead. Yeah, that's where the drama starts. I feel like that's what puts the show together. You feel me? So a lot of shit you gotta. If they see it, the reunion's gonna be up more. You know, it's gonna be more views. Mm -hmm. So I knew I was doing some strategy shit. You feel me? <laughs> you know, some real shit. I was on some strategy gotta, shit. So I was talking my shit. You gotta yeah. play your food to gain wisdom. You feel me? You catch more bees with more honey. So okay. I was just on my, I was just on my bullshit. Yeah. But other than I like that, that yeah. Other than that, though, that's I was just using my strategy because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not no weak ass bitch. You feel me? I'm gonna talk my shit. I'm gonna back up my shit. You feel okay. me? <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm saying, yeah. 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 Baddie season one, L I B Baddie season one. From is in the mother loving house. You feel me? Mecca fish. Was Mecca? Was you already doing? So what does that? Let's just start out. What does it stand for? Right. Okay. What do? She gotta take a drink to that. So what does it stand for? Because it was so freaking random. Like if I tell y'all it was so random, y'all wouldn't believe me. We listening though. We yeah. here. I'm here to explain it all. Yeah, but, yes. Okay, so Mika. When you search up the word Mika on Google, can somebody search it up real quick so I'm not like lying or nothing? Okay. Just search up M I K A. Okay. What it says, if you search what the definition in the Bible means, it says like God. If that shows up. That's what I yeah, said. We're gonna put it on the blue B screen later. But on. how it started was we were breaking down a lot of names for the agency. I came to my best friend, her little sister, my little brothers. It was a couple of my people on my I team. See it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We searched it. We um came up with the whole idea of starting a modeling agency because it's so hard in Des Moines to have like that modeling career, especially with us being black, mm -hmm. being different. It's hard to find the white acceptance. So I decided to start my own modeling agency as a model not being able to have those opportunities I created the opportunity for myself and others. So yeah. So we're gonna stay on that the the whole Madeline stuff because mm -hmm. I really I really think that's a big big move for you. So mm -hmm. first of all, what inspired you to want to be into even getting Madeline really right. and then do you have a mentor? Okay, yes, yes, of course. Um what inspired me back in G Crow Ivory Coast? Yeah. Oh, Beast Camp. Okay, yeah. shout out to yeah. the shout out G Crow. Yeah. 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 Shout out yeah. Ivory Coast. No, but shout out to my mom as well too. She put yeah, me no. a lot of pageants. Um, Miss, which means like Miss in America. Mm -hmm. She put me a lot of pageants, so um, mm -hmm. it was rooted in me. She put it that seed in me, so it made me into it was already bound to happen if that makes sense so the confidence was just there from the beginning yes since, since i was three baby. years old three since and a half. diapers days yes yes okay. indeed um my mentor i would say is lydia young young lee um she put me in her first big fashion show that was in des moines iowa in i'll say about 2017 18 if i'm not mistaken okay. but um that was my first big fashion show it was in des moines and I just followed her every year and moving forward. It was just. Was you, was you nervous? The first time I modeled? Yes. 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 I was very nervous. Um, but I knew it was in me, like I said, because I started as a kid. Mm -hmm. So it was just like something I had to wake up, like a lion that's sleeping, you know? Right. So when I got on the stage, it didn't feel like. So yeah. do you remember, and like, a. I do. Do you remember everything the first I, time you ever stepped on the stage? Yes, I do. I remember walking. I don't know. I remember like some just piece pieces, bits mm -hmm. and memories of everything. But yeah, I remember. You had some butterflies. Yeah, that made you yeah. say, yeah, this was it. <laughs> I this still get those right body, butterflies yeah, every time. Yeah, walk so down yeah. Hour. No, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Down the wrong way. I love yeah. that for you. Thank you. Yeah. But 
you know, that's all good and good. Well, but let's <laughs> let's really gain insight now. You know yeah, what I'm ready saying? for the T nine. So yeah. was niggas really or not niggas? <laughs> was bitches really eating pussy up in um back to the Cause I, can y'all hear my whistle? No, <laughs> 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 you know what I'm You got to so hot. Let's get into the mess, okay? You feel me? Shot through it. Yes, actually, I feel like to was, tell the truth, this was, is only for 231. This is the only confession I'm going to really make. Okay. I had a threesome in the house. you hear it here first. On two, three, three one, one podcast. podcast. Yeah. Not oh. even at the reunion, not even at the oh. backstage. <laughs> Yo, Chris Sims. Yeah. It's giving Chris Sims. <laughs> From his talking shit. Baby. Yeah, I was no. talking shit. I had a threesome with some of the baddest girls mm. on the show. She ain't snitching, though. I ain't going to tell the name. So, so it was everybody. Hold on now. Was Calm down. Was you with that mic? Oh, yeah. I, you feel oh, me? I'm reminiscing. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it was the majority. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was all was everybody in pussy or majority? Like I feel like, like I don't know what everybody else did in their rooms, but with Forget the girls that. I was how fucking. Was, how was your experience? Are you feel me? Was that your first yeah. time? Or you been there yeah, and I do get been in. Oh I yeah. Know. <laughs> Le monde se ferait les civils. Oh, right. 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 Anything strict pour le roi. Am I gay now? Yeah. I mean, are you? I don't want to say I mean, gay. You are lacking a tear. Yeah, you want to try again? Are you in? No, but the pussy I have there is good. Yeah, I'm right. Right. Very good. Nah, but I'm not gay. I still like my little man being there, but yeah. 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 But I'll, I'll talk to a girl, though. You that was a nice experience, though. So, so what about the jacuzzi situation? Oh. When they say something about a girl, was on her period. Oh, mean. Jules. Yeah. yeah, that's the actual winner of the show. Yeah, Jules. no, yeah, Jules. Oh, Jules. Yeah. So, oh, shout out to Jules. Yeah. What's going on with all that? LRB Davy. LRB Diva. So that's Judea. Judea. Yeah. We What's need to get into that. that? LRB yeah, Diva. We gotta talk yeah, about that. We gonna step into Judea. Shout out to Jules. Jules, Judea, how you doing? The jacuzzi situation. I heard bitches. I mean, people was getting ate out on. On you know you know what I'm saying on baddies but like yeah. around that time that girl happened to be on her period so was she getting no oh that's on. a good question because I think that was around the same time the threesome happened so that's really scary to mm-hmm. think about mm-hmm. yeah now that you say that <laughs> okay now <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I know LIB you know a freak freak uh, yeah <laughs> so that was so, uh, so she was a part of it that was one of the people that, that. Uh, oh Wait, sticking sticking on that on so, tampon stuff. I, sticking on that. Yeah. I, I I really did follow the show. I'm not gonna lie, right? Can you give us the name of the person that had a tampon in a trash bag in the tr- trash can? It was can? Jules. It was Jules. It was, and, was it in a room or what? Oh what my happened? god! I'm the one who found the pink tampon. Yeah, I see you. You, 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 you was waving no. that job. Like, no, no, that was not me. Yeah, who was waving that? No, 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 no. It was Judea, the girl who won the show. Like, no, Shorty wow. really did her shit on that show. Let's give her a shout out. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout, shout out, shout out, Judea. Shout out, shout out, Judea. Shout out, Judea. Shout out, Judea. Yes, yes, yes. And I'll be diva. That's your name. Oh, yeah, I burned. Babe or something. I'm not. I don't know. But shout out to Jules. I fuck with you, girl. But um, no, she had the tampon in. Um, yeah, I found it in the trash can. I was getting ready, and I went and told one of my. I think I told Samara or Lorena. And it just turned into and what it turned into. Oh, different thing. So what you thought about her when you when she first did that? You thought she was Lorena? dirty? No, 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 no. Oh, Jules. Yeah, the girls. What? Um, <sighs> Like I said, all this Yo, happened. What? All this happened around the um, threesome situation, so it just you feel me. A little scary. It was a little yeah. yeah. Wait, was there men? Was feelings, there men in the house for this security reason? It was, security was the only men. Was the yeah, only for men? production. Yes. So it was all females in there. Yes. That's a normal thing for females. Then why the hell was they tripping on? <laughs> because it's just, the it's just like the boundaries type of shit. Like I wouldn't oh, do it to you. Oh, don't put it in the so trash can. Oh, yeah, you feel oh, me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. That's yeah, a female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. a female thing. Oh, so she just so um switches out of proportion. We have like. We're going to come back, but I think Patient and A.B. going to ask you a few questions, but I'm going to, when we get back, we're going to get into that Judea thing. Because I think, I think that's what's going to bring the real heat. So, <laughs> yeah. A.B. What? 
when you got fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> so hold on, we talking about the show still, right? Right. Yeah. So on the show, right? It was one time where you was, I don't know if you was throwing shots at everybody or if it was just at a particular person. I forgot it was something that you said. Is this the butt? What seat is it? Uh, you uh, just going off, right? Was, was she going off on everybody? Yeah, the Midwest going baddie. Off, like, <laughs> Midwest baddie. The Midwest baddie. Is what we so, so um, on that whole show, you really think you had any like real life competition? I've, when it comes to being pretty, no, yeah. I don't feel like I had competition. But when it comes to the drama, I'll leave it to y'all. Yeah, they're yeah. drama queens on. So yeah. basically, what she's saying is y'all are ugly. <laughs> yeah, she was the top like model. Definitely the supermodel. When it comes to drama, you yeah. niggas are uh, y'all got a top reward. No, not to them. be not to be rude or anything like that. Did they was it all like because we know we love brand. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> some of our people that like, most of our people like were on our show from America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know teens thing and change. That was so so woman on our show. Not that teens that's change. Or oh, was there women, one or women. two men in that? The one I feel like me. Tra- oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What about that? Who the fuck? That was what F- you wanted to say? Oh, I spell for F-I-G-S-T? Yeah. The one I feel like me. Oh, man. So I feel like not F-U-E-A. Was that the one in Philly, though? Where? No, that bitch living in Minnesota. Oh, in Minnesota? Yeah. Minneapolis? It was David and Goliath. Uh, you want to drop a name? Miss Perfect. Oh. Let's talk about it. What's up? Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it though. What yeah. was going on? What was the whole thing? Okay, no, okay. we gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. We gonna get it. Right, right now, we're not gonna. Right now, we're gonna get out of the baddie scene real quick. Okay, yeah, let's get what back, back think, to who business. Who do you think are the hottest LIB artists right now? Trending. Oh my gosh! Shout out to my nigga Loose. I'm his PR manager, so I gotta yeah, give my yeah. artist shout a shout out. out. Shout, shout out, shout out to Loose. Shout out to Loose. Shout out to LIB Foreign. That's that nigga's definitely got Liberia on his back. Right LIB now. Foreign. I see you, Whoop. You feel me? Contact shout out Foreign. Shout out Foreign. Shout out to this <laughs> nigga right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. nigga yeah. is taking uh, over the Midwest. Badu, 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 the biggest Badu. No disrespect. Nothing less. Nothing less. It ain't no top three. It's him. He's in it. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Uh-huh. But listen, when we get back, we're going to get into Judea beef with her, and we're going to get into the girl you whooped from Minnesota, right? What's no, your whole lot more. We're going to hold a lot more. Oh, more. more. Miss Perfect Bitch and Miss Confused. Whoa. Ah. Yeah. Let's go. Confused. Confused. Yeah. <laughs> no, I need to be. Shout out to LIB. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Finna put it on a mat. Yeah, I already there, bro. Okay, it's on colors. It's too dark right Anna now. And a shit, more and a shit. Are dance break y'all doing? Yeah. Shake up the EBGBs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it up. <laughs> Oh man, shout out to my real man. Jojo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back to 231 Podcast. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You feel me? We're back in the building where our special guest, one and only Promise, season Don't forget one, to and I'll be baddie. You feel me? Yeah. So, Promise, we back, man. I want to touch base back on your modeling stuff. You feel me? Yeah. Well, um, what advice would you give like a young and up and coming model? I will say you got to build your confidence. That's key to everything. Okay. Um, being able to step out of your comfort zone, be mm-hmm. able to do um, free work, freelance is what it's called, but being able to push yourself out there, even if they're paying you, they're not paying you, but being able to take the risk will right. be my biggest advice. Um, okay. Don't ever underestimate yourself. You feel me? Confidence is within. Nobody can put it in you. Right. So make sure that's the first key that you have. Okay. So yeah, that's, that would be that's nice. Yeah. That's, that's nice. I heard that. Yeah, confident. Heard that. Remember that, kids. Have a confident, big ego. Gotta have that. Gotta have, have confidence. That. <laughs> I will say, have a confidence. Uh, have confidence. So, you, besides the um, how you gonna call it the model and all that, like you got anything else going on besides 
the modeling like i seen you was in a video so are, is that a, a whole thing you're pursuing a video yes. version or? um working with dj loose has been really successful for me mm. um outside of me being featured in his video has one of his video vixen he actually saw the passion um uh, not passion, but he saw the vision in me. He, he seen me as a good PR manager, so I'm right now helping him with his EP. Oh, okay. So next, All right, yes. Yeah. All right. You feel me? I'm going to be finna, but now you struggle. Yeah. 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 I want to make sure she grows well. I want to make sure she's nurtured and fed. But yeah. Okay. Get it right. So is the modeling thing, is it for just the people of your complexion or can anybody, every anybody, complexion come in and stuff? Anybody. I would love diversity. Okay. Something I do want to speak on though, I feel like I haven't really said anywhere else. Okay. Um, I feel it. like, especially for my librarian people, I feel like I don't get the support I need from my librarian people. You feel mm -hmm. me? I feel like, especially as being a librarian woman, not to say my Afro anyway S, mm. but from the support, from like everything else, if I feel like, because Liberia is a strong place, right. we're backed by America, the strongest country in the world. Mm. You feel me? So to be able to have that support would be definitely beneficial to put me somewhere I need to be. Because I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for everybody else. Yeah. I want her to Liberia one day. You feel me? Right. So yeah, that's definitely one of my biggest things. I've Need a support from my people. Put the young LIB generation people. on. Your supported girl. She won't put the young generation on. Modeling. Your children are beautiful, beautiful. So your support. Yeah, you feel me? Got a whole agency. It's a whole agency you got going on right now. Right? And the, the biggest black platform in the Midwest. Yes. Right now. Right, right now. now. Yes, in America. Nika modeling. Nika modeling agency. Nika modeling agency. Modeling. You feel yes, me? Big up to y'all. That's us. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah. My people know we going into uh, uh, LIB bodies, man. <laughs> she went Joe, right? Yeah. Hot frost. Let's get into the hot frost. Yeah. Let's get into the hot questions. I have to ask my cousin. <laughs> get it. <laughs> It's not me. No, I know. I know. I'm coming from home. Like, like, yo, like, yo, bring the drama yet. It's, 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 I really want to say, like, yo, bring the drama yet. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about, uh, uh, Miss Perfect. Let's, Let's talk, about talk about her. You know what I'm saying? First of all, she didn't change her name. Oh. Well, what's she going to change her name to? The Miss Confused. Why? Why? Miss Trans. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Is she perfect? Nobody Abby, is, is she perfect? perfect? Nobody is perfect. Hold on, is that the one is girl that's real no. skinny but real strong? <laughs> no, that yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, that yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Miss Confused. Wait, wait, hold up. <laughs> you said school. What is yeah, strong? What is strong? Real skinny but real strong. <laughs> shout out to, shout out to everybody. That will call it transgender. Yeah. That will call it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wait, hold on. That was a female though, right? Oh, yeah, are you confused? That. <laughs> hey, bro, it's 2023, Let it out, man. Dr. Miami was confusing, nigga. You know what I mean? You know I'm a Dr. Miami get paid? Y'all yeah, making that nigga yeah, rich. Y'all making that nigga yeah, rich. That boy so said. So y'all not cool no more? When was we ever cool? We literally just, the only, I feel like the only relationship that started with me and Miss Perfect, when I first got to Philly, when I got off the plane, mm -hmm. I went to the hotel. Mm -hmm. She was my roommate in right. the hotel. So it was like, okay, we're going to make a game plan. Like, when we see each other in the house, we're not going to be weird. We already know how like brand people act. Right. Let's be real. We already like yeah. drama. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, we're gonna be cool. We're gonna be. We're gonna fuck with each other. So, me and Miss Perfect made that plan to all right, let's fuck with each other. When we got in the house, she thought she was the main character, but baby, I'm the Midwest baddie. Yeah, old town. Me? Same <laughs> no, same Don't no. forget about it, and I'm gonna show out every oh. time. But yeah, that's what really happened. Uh, <laughs> that's what really, <laughs> that's what really that's happened. What so <laughs> y'all got in there, had your so plan. No, but wait, 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 I got one more question. Slap her with it, bitch. <laughs> Give it to her. <laughs> so why didn't you like her? Or why didn't y'all like each other? Like, mm. what was that? Oh, like, the thing is... <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't Hold lie. Is she from the Midwest? Don't too? lie. Oh, she's from Minnesota. Oh, she lived down the street. Uh, 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 and B, okay. she lived down the street. Uh, oh. Was she the only other person from the Midwest? No. My, besides you? My uh-huh. roommate, my roommate, Lorena, she live in Minnesota. That's my homegirl, too. I be uh, fucking with her. Blessing. Blessing. Yes, yeah, that's my oh, girl. Yeah, Shout out to Blessing. Hold on. Shout out to Lorena. Shout out to Blessing. She carried that show. That's my homegirl. Shout out to Blessing. She give her two fucks. But no, outside of that, though, she really my homegirl for real. Like we talk every day. That's my that's my bitch. You feel me? Right, right. But Miss Perfect, she had this persona in her head like she was that bitch, but she looked like a man. Did she know you before this? No, this, no, no. Y'all didn't know, I didn't each know her other anywhere. Oh, okay, I, so I yeah. met her in the hotel. That's oh, she was my roommate. Uh, yeah, that's your first time. Yeah. yeah. So y'all didn't even know. Oh, we both from the Midwest. Yeah. I knew she was from Minnesota, but what does that mean? I'm from Iowa. Yeah. Same. Two different area calls. Two five. What is five one five, five, one, five right. seven six Whatever that is. Six, 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 I'm from 303 Denver, Colorado, my <laughs> Bella. Yeah. My Bella. That's, that's where my heart is. I don't know if I'm from Iowa. She's from Colorado. Gangsta era. Yeah, so gas. we still miss Perfect, right? Yeah. Why are we still on her? Because if you ever want to get it, the, the tea and the fries. What's well, popping? I'm here to talk. Like, you got, no, you got a runner up question? Yeah. You got a runner up question? Yeah. What it is? Miss Perfect, what was the fight about? Like that particular incident. Okay, Why so did it went that far. Okay, if you watched the season mm-hmm. in the episode where we're on the bus, yeah, she had got into a situation with Jules. Was going to a party? She yeah? fought Jules. No, we were supposed to go snowboarding, but we ended up going to the, a dinner or some bullshit. Okay, but um. <laughs> Who dropping everything? Yeah, this is where the tea gonna the start. Tea start yeah. If we gotta do episode two, we're back on it. Mm. But no, nah, anyways, like I was saying, um, we was headed to a lunch or brunch or whatever the situation was. She got had gotten into it with Jules on the bus, but I feel like it wasn't direct. I feel like all the energy she had to, towards Jules was supposed to be towards me. Right. If you watch the episode, she addresses me on the bus after Jules said some, 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 some promise. So Jules already had peak game, like her en- energy was coming towards me, but she didn't know how to direct it towards me. Okay. So she, I was already talking shit in the confessionals. I don't give a fuck. Period. I know how to back my shit up. You Wait, feel before me? Y'all I don't give a bus? fuck. Before y'all got on the bus, or <laughs> no? Before we got on the bus, yeah. Oh, you, yeah, yeah no, all this was before we got on the bus. But I, I don't know what her, what her, what her and Jules had going on. That's their business. Mm. But I feel like she had animosity towards me. So she brought it towards Jules instead of bringing it directly to the source. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. So she came to me with the bullshit, and on the, as you, if you watch the episode at the time, she was she came up to me. We talked. I was like, "What's up with your energy?" She ain't want to. She wasn't giving Jules the same energy as she was giving me. It was just like, "Oh, I'm trying to make sure shit work out with us instead of her and Jules." So if you finish the season, mm-hmm. me and her end up getting into it. That's where the bullshit really start. At the end, okay. of, the season. At the at end the of the end. season. At the reunion. Oh. But yeah, that's 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 really what happened. And you just whoop the people that are eyes let out. No, don't say let out. It wasn't too like so, that. <laughs> so you just flock up. <laughs> my librarian will say, "Flock up, your yeah, frisking that will flock up." No, to our librarian people, this is just. How you grab a bridge? This is just TV bridge. drama they we're talking corn, about. They get get corn rolls bridge. You grab her corn rolls bridge. Mm-hmm. How you can how you can snatch corn rolls bridge? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First step, don't get your nails too long mm-hmm. before you go to reunion. Step two. Step two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me your peep kill. <laughs> you know, that cool. Don't try to jump, jump my homegirl. That's bullshit right there. Don't try to jump her. Two. That's step, bullshit. Step three. Step three. If the bitch is shorter than you, grab her head. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. Yeah. That's the bitch's hair. Okay. That's how she moved. That's, you feel me? That's how she moved. <laughs> three step what we got number four. Step four. <laughs> step four. You take your copy boy. Make sure you toss the bitch. Make sure you toss her. I want to know. 
Make sure you toss her on the ground. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Pull her. You grab her about leg, her arm. I don't care. Shout out to her, yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout, out, shout out to my producer over there. You got to put her there. <laughs> Make sure you grab that bitch by the arm. <laughs> That's the judge. You got to put her there. The big arm. You got to put her there. Before we get into Ju- Judea, right? Yeah, let's talk about it. Right? Yeah. Judea. Before we get into Ju- Judea, right? When I saw <laughs> Miss Perfect, because mm-hmm. she talk? was a little... So muscular, you feel me? No disrespect to her. Like, she works out. Okay. You feel me? It looked like she works out. That's yeah, it's like she go to the gym. Yeah. I watched a couple of scenes. I'm, I'm, I told you that. Yeah. She so, is. she looked like she works out. Do you so think it was I... a man? She was skinny but strong. <laughs> Bobby no snitch. Bobby no, no, no. No, 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 no. But look. No, we, no, no, no. We are no. We are no. We are no. When I seen her, bro, I really thought, she, I mean, it looked like she seemed like she works out. So right. I thought that was a. She a strong ass yeah, bitch. Yeah, I thought that was an advantage in her shoes. How you minded to, to pull her I thought she off. finished beating, excuse me. I thought she finished beating Jules. Everybody right. thought she was going to beat my ass. Right, right, right. But come on now, I'm a crown gay. What the fuck did you expect? Crown Jew. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Crown Jew. No, but y'all make sure y'all watch LRB Baddies on Love TV. Shout out to her. Shout yeah. out to Love nah. TV. Love TV LRB Network. Baddies. Com. Subscribe. You feel me? It's better than what? East Bodies, yeah. West Bodies. Don't give a fuck. We on LRB shit. You feel yeah. me? Shout out to 231 Podcast. So during that backstage interview, you hey. know what I'm mm. at the reunion, you say you don't have beef with anyone, but they have beef with you. So who are you talking about when they say they have beef with you? Okay. Question. I like that question. That's very <laughs> Question. Question. <laughs> when I stated that, I was directly talking to Judea. Right. I feel like, because at the time, after, like I said, most of the drama started after the season. Mm -hmm. We had a whole group chat. Mm -hmm. So you feel me? The internet trolls was going on. Everybody was on their bullshit, Mm -hmm. especially before the reunion. Mm -hmm. With Judea, though, that bitch was half-stepping. She wasn't never direct with anything she said. Right. Let's not mention the bitch came to my city. She came to Des Moines. She did. And the bitch ain't do shit. She ain't say shit. Bitch was confused. Wasn't on her. But like I was saying, I, I started that. Yeah, so don't come to my city thinking you run shit because this is my city, like I said. Judeo, we talking, she thought, I think she talking to you. I'm talking directly to the bitch. Directly to the bitch. What's up, Judea? You said all this happened after after the season? After, after the, the season. fact. Then y'all started bro, actual drama? Bro, it's not a pro. Bro, we recorded for a week. Right. See, that's the th- How can so much drama happen in a week, y'all? Let's talk about that. That's how you know, like, bring people saka in the head. <laughs> like, yeah, real how after the season saka. before y'all start the drama? That was all supposed to be TV drama. That's right. trolling. That's what internet we call beef. It. Yeah, it should be for the TV. And, and then it it afterwards, y'all live your own so, life. Yeah, so with the Judea bitch, she was half stepping. It was never like a, oh, promise what's up. Like mm. a real bitch. You feel yeah. me? Not like, to cut you up, what you mean she's half stepping? Was it an incident that you think like she was supposed to? Okay, yes. Like, so we went live a couple weeks before the show. Okay. Jaday was on that bullshit talking about some, because at the time Jaday had beef with like five, six people. I don't want to give this bitch promo. I'm gonna fuck about Jaday. He was in my city. You didn't do shit. Don't come to my city half stepping like you did at the reunion. If you're gonna come to my city step, that's what I'm trying to say. You feel me? Ten so let's toes, cut the Jaday conversation out out of the conversation. But like I said, if you're gonna step all the way, just step. And I know half ass shit. You feel me? Yeah. Thai shit. <laughs> Come you know, heavy. It just fucked my head up how like y'all took a TV drama and brought it out and made it into yeah. a yeah. I'm not like real life with this drama. Bitch. Like no. Cause y'all from a two, two y'all from two different cities. Y'all got two different lifestyles going on. Y'all living your life ass outside of that show. <laughs> so what's your question? Lifestyles might be similar. Yeah, like how do y'all take the the beef of TV? Like, like brand people gotta know to keep certain things at certain place and right. went to. It's not real beef. Like I said, it's always about business. Just in, okay. you feel me? Like I said, the the TV show we um came out about a year ago. So it's like at the end of the day, if you ain't never press the issue, don't press it later in the show or don't press it outside of cameras. 
yeah. That's Damn, I I love to see season three though. If they got the same, no, no two, I, two, ooh, two. Let's talk about two. Season no season two. two coming. But before we two get into coming. that, right? <laughs> I'm not at the reunion. Yeah, was you expecting yourself to rock out with Judea? Like, was you expecting a fight at the reunion? I really did. I I literally started my outfit in a dress, y'all. I swear to God, it was like a gold dress. It was so sexy, but. I was planning to fight at the reunion anyway. I'm not the type of bitch to talk shit before I fight. I like okay. to just rumble, you feel me? Right. So, <laughs> yeah. I like to rumble. So, all that yappy shit, it's not for me. So, when we got to the reunion, she was yapping. So, it's like either going to run up or shut up. And she didn't do none of that. So, I didn't end up fighting. So, what, what, where that animosity came from between you and Judea? Is it when she first walked in and she felt like you was trying to bully her? And what was that <laughs> incident all about? Yeah. My thing was with Judea, she act like a boy. She, so the bitch was loud as hell. Like, she act like a little boy. Like, shut the fuck up and act like a girl. Damn, <laughs> <Tom> boy. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Judea. She, she was on my live. She was on my live before. Shout out to my live. What's wrong with you? No, you not sure even that. No, no, no. no. Sure he's he's probably going to have so I'm not a hating ass bitch. I'm not a hater. So Don't know. do that because yeah, I'm not I'm even a hater for real. I'm not a hater. Judea, step on what you say. That's all I got to say. You cool. You, you make us dark skins look a little crazy, but you cute. Just step your shit up. Pick your cookies up. Pick your crumbles up. You feel me? Oh. It ain't nothing less. It ain't nothing Talk less. Talk that shit. shit. Stay yeah. ten toes, Judea. Stay ten That's toes. That's what my cousin said. That's what we on. Oh, yeah. Business. And don't come to my city thinking Straight you that bitch. Brown. You in my city. Yeah. In my city. You feel me? Five one five. Yeah, five Two one three one podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We outside. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Matter of fact, let me give a shout out to all the ladies. Y'all looking good as shit on that reunion. Thank everybody you. Was, everybody was looking LIB good. That. Yo, swag, that was not everything. my original outfit. I want to mention that. That was not my original oh, outfit. That red That's outfit why I asked cute, you that though. question. Was you expecting to fight your dare? That red outfit she was came cute, looking though. pretty and you came looking like... A little in yeah, pants. That red outfit was cute, though. But it was cute. You feel me? It was giving, don't bite the apple. <laughs> you feel what me? Don't you? bite the apple, Eve. You feel me? Ah, it yeah, was say, giving very it? much, it's you evil. know, love what you're doing, you know, but if, as you can see, the next episode mm -hmm. after that first half is where the bullshit came in. Now, when that bullshit was on the scenes, Judea didn't even make it to the kickball game. Miss Perfect didn't even make it to the kickball game. Half of them bitches didn't make it to the kickball game. There's only Lorena and Samara that make it to the kickball game, which was the last event that happened after the reunion. Yeah, this uh kickball game for the, the July twenty sixth game. Six event. Yeah. It was only three of us. This is after we fought on the field. You fought at that game too? We fought at the field there game. Was, there was they tried a lot to of jump people... Samara. Oh okay, okay. I seen that footage. You're not gonna jump Samara. <laughs> is that the girl from Atlanta? That's the bitch from Atlanta. Shout out Samara. Girl. I think she Shout was one of Samara, my love too. fitness. You feel me? That's my girl. Okay. But yeah, yeah. All that fight was at a Catholic school, man. <laughs> you lying. He was out there running at a Catholic school. No, that was on the track field. Don't even do that, AB. That was on the track field. The school's right there in the side. The, I used to go play to that school. You from Philly? Yeah. 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 So, um, on one of the episodes, I think y'all went to a club in Philly. Royals? How was your experience over there? Oh, man. Royals is a vibe. Like, when you enter Royals, you mm. can't come with no weird energy. Like, it's either you shaking ass or get the fuck out. You feel me? Right, shit. You feel me? No, we went to Royals. It was a vibe. The girls that were beefing was twerking on each other. It wasn't no like weird nothing. It was just, you feel me? It's Royals. That's that Philly energy and that's Royals. Shout out to Royals too. Shout you know out me? That's to home. Royals. It was all love. It was all love. Shout out to 215 267 484 610. It's a Philly baddie right here. <laughs> So, if you have to do this again, would you ever want to do a baddie again? Why? I wouldn't. Due to the fact that I feel like if I'm trying to hold a brand as a modeling, a brand person, a black activist, I can't support that <laughs> side of the black brand. <laughs> Yo! Yo, listen! <laughs> You see that? Holy shit. When you come to 231 Podcast, we let you be you, you feel me? Our special guest promised how to ease herself out. What you got to do? 
<laughs> See, I don't. Bad, bro. Hey, me back. Give me back. Give me back, man. One, two, three, four. Pause. Cut. Yo, that's oh, it. Oh, Yo, just, 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 just oh, hand him with a cup. See. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back, 231. We out here, man. We have a special, beautiful, lovely uh promise. You feel me? Season one, baddie. You feel me? Um still out in the building, you hear me? But um, <laughs> let's talk about the um the turn up. I heard y'all went to Royals. The East Coast is definitely where it's at. Your experience um, at Royals. How yes. was it? It was cool. I like the whole like two four vibes. Have yeah. you been to Royals? Yeah, I've been yeah. to Royals. Yeah, yeah I'm a yeah. promoter at Royals. Yeah. I love Royals. Oh my goodness. Um, I love the energy. I love how that they're really like they have the two levels of scenes that you mm. can pick from. But yeah, I fuck with Royals really bad. I should East yeah. Coast vibes. East Coast vibes. Yeah. Shout out to Royals. You feel Shout me? To Shout out to one That's the club yeah. where the artists go to, and they feel like they on the Grammy. Yeah. And they perform me at the Grammy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Here's the question. How many people originally were supposed to be on the show and how many people caught out? I'm not sure how many girls there were. Probably nine, if I'm not mistaken. But I know there was like five states or six states and Minnesota had two. But so if you do the math, that's like seven or whatever the number is. But um, JT was supposed to be there, but she didn't show up because of her girlfriend issues or whatever that was. Mm. Talk about it. I don't know about it. <laughs> oh, she know what she was supposed Talk to be. Yeah, 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 I don't know what the issue was. I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out JT. Yeah. Respectfully. Yeah. yeah, but the girls had two. We were missing two cast members, so we had replacements, which was Dee Dee, which was Rose, and other girls that were on there that came afterwards. But the replacement bitches, I feel like they had a point to prove, but mm-hmm. they weren't proving that point. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, so like, what's what's your next journey though? Like, what's your next thing that you gonna be on to say? Besides, you know, we got you got the marker going on. And the you what? <laughs> the Mika M I K A Mika. He said Maka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The what? Yeah. The Mika Modeling Company Agency. Uh-huh. The Mika yeah. Black Modeling Agency. Mika Modeling Agency. Yeah. No, um, the plan for Mika is definitely to expand um throughout the Midwest. I want to take over the whole Midwest. Okay. Um, I want to be able to do it like um. I don't want to say like a reality show sort of thing, but I want to record the journey of it. I want to be able to show the ups and downs without like so much drama, but just like in a professional way. So I just want to expand my business. I need more sponsors and supporters as well, people that see the vision. So I'm just trying to market right now. That's my biggest thing. Okay. When was this uh, Mika uh, modeling agency funded? One year ago in September 1st, 2022. Okay. Yeah, we already received an award. Yeah. <laughs> a real award, not one of the fake ones. So That's yeah. nice. Shout out to my models, the new ones, the old ones. I want to give y'all a big shout out for believing in the dream. Give it up, man. I mean, we we about to wrap things up, man, but we don't leave be without you, you know what I mean? Giving out mm-hmm. where 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 the people can look you up at and all that stuff and how they can find yeah. your modeling stuff. Definitely. Um, my Instagram is promise, P-R-O-M-I-S-E dot underscore D-W-E-H, Dway. Promise Dway. On the score again. You feel me, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So the biggest, the baddest L-I-B baddie okay. in the Midwest. Okay. But yeah, that's me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, y'all, thank you for having me, though. I really appreciate the 231 podcast in Iowa. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. We Iowa, let's give y'all a shout out. Yeah. Shout out to the 231 podcast. 231. You feel me? Man, yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you to our special guest, Promise. Thank you. Season one, me. baddies. I'm your host, Lifestyle Badu. Y'all, make yeah. sure y'all like, share, subscribe, comment with y'all. Yeah. Don't like what y'all do like because we're still trying to get feedback from all y'all. Yeah, so y'all yeah, let us know good. what's going on. And tell us in the yeah. comment is probably what's your favorite. Okay, who was y'all favorite L I B baddie? We don't care if we don't care if it wasn't promise. We don't care. Because I'm the Iowa Midwest body. At the end of the day, y'all know who got the interview. Okay. Okay. And two three one is the hottest in the Midwest. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. Thank you all for tuning in. Yeah, y'all already know what time it is. It's your boy, A. Bizzle. How's my people at the window? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the motherfucking yeah. rap. It's the motherfucking yeah. rap. Shout out to Iowa. Get me in this bitch. Hey. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, but, but, but we all going to have promise back on here again, though. You know, yeah. things going on. Yeah.